and welcome to Anselm Griffin's occasional series of YouTube tutorials. Today it's image processing and looking at Norm X Core 2. So we have this image here. We took out the letter S and we want to find the letter S in that image there. And with a little, little bit of explanation, we want to register it so that we've shown we've found it and we've popped it in the right place there. So I've published it and I'll run through the code. So just to say, I took this example from here. My own example that I've done before, which I've done in great detail is there. And if you can't find it or it's too long, if you just search for template matching in MATLAB using Norm X Core 2, you'll find it. So we won't delay. We tidied up as before we read in the image and i cropped that letter s out of it here and i'm going to try and find the letter s in there so there's the original single letter norm x core 2 we run and when i publish it we got here now, if I go out to the original image there and play with it a little, there it is there. And you can see if we got one, we'd have a perfect match. So, you know, just there, wherever those coordinates there, that's the closest match we've got. Now, why we didn't get one exactly could be down to a bit of shading problem, etc., etc. But we just... Uh, we could play with this all day, trying to get the right angle of it. I think somewhere around there is about the best. Ideally, you'd be looking for one. So I assume you know uh, what norm or cross correlation is, etc. Okay, we go down. I guess. Here I've got the biggest value, that's the one, nearly one. That'll be in just one vertical column, we vectorized it. On this line here, I've dug out the X and Y coordinates from the one dimensional array using the index sub command. Here I find the correlation offset, so with the, I've found the X, Y coordinates of the peak, like just there. Lost my mouse a sec. I found the correlation offset. Now I found the relative offset. So that's the relative offset of the letter S in the image. So we have the correlation offset and the uh, relative offset. So add the two of them together, we get the total offset and we get the X and Y of that. So We've worked out there where the start of the letter S, or the start of the letter X is, sorry, the start of the X, the end of the X, the start of the Y, the end of the Y. Uh, wrote a little if statement to see did we get a perfect match. And obviously we didn't get a perfect match because if we did, we'd have get one. So obviously we're going to get, we did not get a perfect match. Uh, now I just create a black array here. So remember zeros are black. We get the size of the original image, we make them all zeros and then we uindate it. And why do we use